Now let's go ahead and create a few nav items for our actual PSD design. Uh, this is basically a navigation menu. Now in our design, uh, if you look at the top, what you'll see is we have three individual buttons, our home, about us, and our contact. These are actually just text items. When you're creating links, uh, you can actually place them on either a text item, a shape, or an image. Uh, what it'll do is actually convert the actual element to a link item. Now let's per se we want to add a home link. Uh, what we want to do is basically change the layer name and let's go ahead and let's add a link on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the link to index. What index will do is index will convert basically to the name of the actual document so it will reference the home page of the document itself. You'll notice that we added a space. You don't want to add the layer name right beside the actual tag that's just bad layer naming um, so with this what it will do is actually create a link to the index page the next step we want to do is add an about us so let's go ahead and let's add another tag now you'll note that if we did this this is invalid. Uh, a page in any server cannot actually be named with a space and no extension. So what we want to do is we actually want to create it with an underscore and with the actual link. Now if we were using a server we wouldn't have to include the file link but we're actually creating each individual file. So the next step let's add the contact. And what this will do is when we export it now always remember when you export your documents what you should do is close each folder this will make it a much faster export and it only takes a second to do so let's go ahead and let's run that once the export is complete we can go to our HTML5 folder and preview the export in our browser immediately and you'll see that what it does is it creates actual links to the pages that we've assigned in our PSD